Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry it's been long, but hopefully you are a purse fanatic like myself and you don't mind sitting through these videos. Anyway, so we went through the makeup bags that was inside this bag, but um, now we're going to just show you. I believe my mother gave me this as a birthday gift years ago, but um, you really can't use it as a purse. So I use it as an overnight bag. It's this big white bag with the Playboy Bunny on it. Playboy Bunny, you don't really find their stuff anymore, which is a shame because I really loved um, the stuff. You can't find anything with the Playboy Bunny on it anymore. It makes me sad. They started going downhill um, once he sold the mansion and now Playboy has clothes on. Just like, you know, why are people going to buy subscriptions to see girls in lingerie when they can just get a free Victoria's Secrets catalog? If they have a girlfriend, she wears bras. She probably has Victoria's Secrets. But um, I've had this one for years. This one's held up really well. And um, I love it. It holds. That's where I put most of my clothes, shoes, and my electronics normally go in the blue, um, blue, the purple bag with the strap on it. I have a few different bags. I normally bring two or three, depending, or if Joey's using them. It all varies. This bag I use when I, I used to be in the food industry and when I was becoming a, um, when you're a, a manager of a restaurant, you have to go through certain like um, courses and training and different classes and surf save and all kinds of stuff for, you know, obviously you don't want to get people sick. So when you're running a, a restaurant, you have to be qualified. So when I was going to those kinds of schooling, this is the bag that I was using because um, it held everything I needed. Now it's falling apart. I need to find somebody who can fix it. Because it, I love it. I mean, even though the, the, the designer is very outdated, um, this bag has treated me so, so good. I use it at least once or twice a year. This is another baby fat, as you can tell. Look at this. I bought this at Burlington Co. Factory over 10 years ago. And this bag still is holding up fairly well. It's got these beautiful little diamonds. It's got the cat, which I was obsessed with. With little diamonds on it. The back has baby fat. But if you can tell here, these straps are falling apart badly. Inside has the baby fat emblem as well. And a little zipper compartment. And this thing holds a lot. Um, I normally bring this bag and a plastic garbage bag to put my dirty clothes in when we come back from vacation. So, or, and, uh, like, whatchamacallit, like, dirty clothes or, um, like, my toiletries and stuff like that. Like, I'll take them out of one of the other bags if we have, like, souvenirs so they can all go in that bag. But I need to get it repaired because it's falling apart and I don't want to get rid of it even though it's outdated, but I don't care. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so much. This is another one of these types of bags. I used it for the first time this year. No, last year. I used it twice. Um, Joey bought me a perfume again, and this is the bag that it came with. It was a Paris Hilton perfume. I think it was Siren that he bought me, but there's Paris. I kept it on there because I liked how she looked on there. People either love her or hate her. I love her perfume. And her um, clothing line does have some cute stuff, even though I don't own anything. I like the print on there. It says PH. It's got little hearts. And this does have wheels. And it has this strap, which makes it for easier travel. And when this bag is up, I mean, this bag holds a lot. This is a really nice size bag. I really like getting these kinds of things from, like, perfumes. Because they're normally made pretty well. That's the last of my travel ones. Oh, oh, we got a lot more guys. We really do. We'll see. Um, I'll work on the ones that are here and then we'll go from there. Okay, so, <laughs> ah, I don't know where to start. Those will save. I got wristlets too. Let's go with the wristlet. This was one of my first, no, it was my first coach, but it's definitely my first wristlet. This is a coach wristlet. It's got the black C's. This kind of like jaggered, like fabriciness seems not to be in style anymore. I see at the coach stores that they're going away from this and going more towards leathers. Um, I only have one leather coach, which I just bought this year, but the C's are my favorite print. 
Now, I got it in the black because I figured the black C's would go great with everything. So it's got this main little compartment that you, well, not main, but this little side compartment that you can open. Got this for like a super cheap deal. And it's got that. And then you just close it. And on your wrist it goes. So, super cute. Super cute. Maybe I'll film the little makeup thingies like... We'll do that in a separate video. Now, I know you guys just saw me do the unbox, not the unboxing, what's in my purse video for this guy. This is the leather coach that I was telling you about. This is my first leather coach. It's a beautiful raspberry. I believe it's called the Madison. I have it stuffed right now so that it holds its shape. It's this really pretty raspberry color, and I love the straps on it because it's, like, perfect. And, of course, it's got my... I love top handle bags because I love the speedy 40s and the speedy 35s and all those bags. So you'll see that a lot of my bags tend to be top handle bags. I just like having that option. So that was my latest. Um, this one is the one I switched into from that. And Joey got me this for my birthday. This is a Michael Kors. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful navy blue leather. Um, this is a front pocket. Don't have anything in there. Then I have like... I. Well, I was just paying bills, but um, I don't have much in there. I got some bills in there. I have a strap where I keep my driver's license and my lemon drop um, lip balm is in there right now. That's the bag I'm currently using and onward. Oh, I've got a lot to go through. This is another Michael Kors. This was my second one, I believe. Joey had got me this for my birthday one year. It's this gorgeous clutch. It's simply, oh, I love this. It's this red clutch with this beautiful grommeting detailing all over the bag. And on the back, it does have a little metal magnetic strip. But you also have a small chain that if you needed to use it, I don't use it. I just keep it back there. And then to open this bag, you push on these and you open it up. Hey, Desi. It has like little credit cards in here. This is just, it came with that. So whenever I'm not using it, I put that back in there. It has a little, like, it has a little card in there and the zipper compartment, places for your cards. Then there's like another little, little like, oh Lord, pocket. I love this bag. Talk about a little statement. Little black dress, hot red bag. What are you doing? What are you doing, Fuzzy Wuzzy? Are you trying to sneak into my closet? That's what it looks like. I'm trying to sneak into the closet. This one over here was my first Michael Kors. And I bought this before Michael became like a big thing. I don't even think it says Michael by Michael Kors. Oh, it does. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think? I don't remember. But this was a treat bag to myself. And what the cool thing is about this one, and I know you've seen this style before. Um, this is actually a canvas, but I know they make them in leathers and stuff like that. There's the MK. But you can also take it and do this with it as well. So that it looks like a toe or folded in. Then you got these straps as well. Let me see if I can get it to work. You can just close the straps on top of it if you wanted to. I would just tuck them in. We have them on either side. there's a lot of room in this bag this is more of a fall bag for me but this is my first Michael Kors I don't normally go with leopard print I'm not sure what I was thinking at the time but I was like hey I really like that bag and let's scoop it up that was right before Michael really like made a big like impression on people next my mother got me this one I think this was a birthday gift it's kind of this sweatshirt kind of feel Actually, this would have been good. I haven't used it yet. I should have used it this summer. But it's really cute. 
It says limited edition. It's got these big pink glittery lips on them. Oh, looks like you can like pull in the side too. And again, you can tell it's a Co um, from Kohl's because of the pink crown on the inside. Sad. Juicy Couture Ranch, of course, but I love Juicy. So there's that one. Next is, this is the last Victoria's Secrets tote that I got from a Black Friday sale. It's all sequined. To the Victoria's Secret. So that's the main reason why I wanted it was all the sequins. They are made well though. It's a very thick canvas. It does have a zipper in it. What else do I have in here? I just have some fabric that I sometimes use as a backdrop and stuff like that. But um, I was very disappointed in, you don't call it a beauty kit. You're only going to give one item. But that's that bag. Very nice. And, and they are made well. So I got to, you know, give credit where credit is due. Okay. Next bag, Joey bought me this. This is the same year he bought me that no name one that had the hard handles. This is my do one of my Dooney and Burks. I love the style. Top handle bag. The inside is red. Very, very pretty. I need to remember to stuff it so that it stays shape. I came in a few different colors that year. But I really like the black and white. Very statement in my opinion. And it does have a strap. Very, very cute. And the last one we're going to show for this video. Um, this was, this came in one of Joey's colognes. It's another Versace um, bag. It's a perfume bag. I think it's my only Versace. We just got... He just got the cologne this year. This is a really nice travel bag. This might replace the baby fat if I can't get the baby fat fixed. But it's made really well. It's really big. And it has its own dust bag, which is also nice. Put it back in there. That's what I really like about these, um, when you get these things with the colognes and the perfumes, if you get a bag. They're normally made really well. Especially from these, like, higher companies. They normally put a, a good item out. Anyway guys, we have one more video after this. So one more, maybe some accessory video. So I will see you in the next video. So maybe one more and a accessory video. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.